Hi, my name is Mariana Cuña and I'm a digital artist. I currently work at the Foundry and I'm going to show you how to clone in Nuke using the Cintiq. So I have a scene here from a game called Cyberpunk and it's from a studio called Platish. And I'm going to show you how to do some painting and cloning work in Nuke using this scene. So first off, I'm just going to see everything that I have on my script. The Cintiq is really easy to navigate. I know that I have one scene on this script on the left and another scene on the right. So I chose to just come into the scene on the left and just start viewing all my different notes. I could do that or just really easy, just navigate to the right and just come where I am going to start to do all the different paint work. So I'm just going to come over here. First, I'm going to show you how it looks in the 3D system and show you a little bit of the navigation inside of the 3D system. So if you just hold the Alt key and you just start switching the pen around, just pressing and holding, and you can do it as fast or as slow as you want. This way, instead of wasting time by going and looking into the different hotkeys for changing the camera views, with the Cintiq, you can just hold the Alt key and just navigate around, just make sure that your matte painting is aligned and exactly where you needed it to be. So I need to do a little bit of paint work down here, but it can be very loose because it's going to be all the way in the background. So now from the 3D system, I'm going to jump into the 2D system. And now I can see why I need to do a little bit of cloning and paint work over here. So I'm going to set my viewer, my node graph to be a little bit down so I can see all my screen and I'm actually going to move this around. Now I'm going to hit the P key, which is for painting and cloning inside of Nuke. And likewise, if you want to navigate in the Cintiq, same thing as if you were in the 3D system, you just hold the Alt key and that's all you need to do. And if you want to zoom in and out, you can click Alt and then you can right click on your pen and zoom in and out. Now I'm using the clone tool. Now by holding the Shift key, I can start just dragging, expanding and contracting my brush, making it as big or as small as I want. Just by holding the Command key, you can just change the direction of where your cloning tool is going to go to. So I've always what you want to clone from is going to be that little X mark right there. And so that means that that's what I'm going to be cloning from. So I'm just going to start doing, like I said, really loose painting because it's all going to be all the way into the background. It's like the 21st century painting tool because you really feel the flow of your paint strokes. So you can do it just really easy, super simple using the Cintiq.